Hello and welcome to the Group Sales Power Hour podcast. I am Stuart Cohen. I'm glad to have you here. Uh, we are recording this live with an audience, but not really because the advisors are not here in my office, which would be cool if they were, but they're in the audience. Uh, so these are uh, members of Group Sales Bootcamp, and uh, this is basically a one-on-one -on -one coaching session but it's really not because it's not one, of, it's quite public, but it gives boot campers a chance to ask questions, share successes and failures, and for us together to help us um, uh, help build your group business bigger and better. That's the mission statement. And I know you're seeing an extra face here. Say hello to Alex. Hi, Alex. Hey, Stuart, always a pleasure seeing you. And you know what, Stuart? Yeah. We may not be live, but I, I think I can hear them. I can hear them. I can feel them at least. I can feel them. I, feel them. I know. It's so cool. And I and I know you can't see what they're typing in, so I'll, I'll always read it because th these guys and gals are so engaged. Summer's in the house. She said, woohoo, yay, missed you. So <laughs> cool. Thanks. I'm so glad you're here. And, and friends, uh, as you come in, remember, let your fingers do the talking uh, so we can hear your thoughts your questions, and anything you want to throw at us as a challenge. And I'll tell you why Alex is here in just a moment. We've got a lot to cover today. Maureen is in the house. She's saying hello. Ray's here. Always good to join in. Trinita is here. She says, great to see you, Alex. Trinita from <laughs> Train Vacations. Um, we, we've got a lot to cover. I've asked Alex here, who is not only uh, a great friend, an enduring friend over so many years, uh, Alex is also a CTC, MCC, and Vice President of Sales with Amr Waterways. If you don't know Alex by now, <laughs> it's time. <laughs> he's just, he's, you know, there's, Alex, there's no bigger advocate of the travel advisor than you. And I, I welcome you here. And if there's anyone at home who doesn't know who you are, what you do, give, give us your elevator speech, what you do at AMA. And then, now, then I'm going to tell everybody why I've invited you here and what we're going to talk about. Absolutely. I'm glad you didn't say how many years we've known each other. You <laughs> <laughs> no, great uh, great to be here with you, uh, Stuart. And yeah, so I'm the vice president of sales for, uh, for AMA Waterways. So uh, I manage the sales team. Uh, and really the key right now uh, and the direction that I'm giving them is to stay engaged, to stay connected. Uh, as, as you know, Stuart, we don't have a direct strategy at AMA Waterways, so over 95% of our business comes from our valued travel partners. So without you, without our, without our valued travel partners, we wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here. So, uh, you know, we are really working closely uh, to, to really support uh, the, the advisors during, during these difficult times. And, and, and I think uh, our team, uh, our sales team, for, for the most part, we're intact and we're there. Uh, you know, I encourage all of you. Uh, my, my biggest advice today uh, is to, to, you know, get to know your business development manager. Every one of you has, you know, you have uh, a business development manager. If you don't know who they are, you can always email me, uh, alex at amawaterways.com or salesengagement at amawaterways.com. We'll put you in contact with them. Our role is very simple, very simple, Stuart. We want to help you. Uh, we want to help you grow your business with Ama Waterways. Uh, in the most easy uh, and seamless way. Uh, and our team will truly bend over backwards to do uh, what it takes to support you uh, and help uh, help us achieve our mutual goals. Yep. yep, we appreciate that. You know, you have no bigger fan than this guy sitting right here with a hat that was purchased while I was sailing on the Ama Cristina doing my partial chip river cruise. See, Alex, you, you don't know this, so I'm gonna tell you now. But uh, I, I made a uh, now that we have this as a as a podcast, so billions of people around the, the universe are hearing it. Not true, but it sounds good to say. Uh, every podcast, I'm going to wear a different hat, and and they're going to keep me honest. So somebody out there, when, when I finally repeat a hat, they're going to say, Ah, gotcha. But I'm not going to tell them because I do have a I do have a nice hat collection. So right. before before I ask Alice this question, hey Karen, Karen's in the house. Um, uh, and the question, Alex, is going to be, uh, what are the trends? What's happening? Give us, you know, 
give us an insider perspective what's happening with group bookings what are the trends what's going on i i know that you you've been cruising the rhine since uh, june or july and and so we we want to hear it right from you so before i let you roll out with with an answer there friends today uh, we we have I, i'm going to read you some takeaways from some suppliers who i'm friends with uh in in other categories i have some quotes some statements from some cruise lines from tour operators uh and, and i thought hearing it from them would be helpful to hear what the trends are and you're going to see friends there's a nugget there's something big when I when I when, when I read this to you and, and and we go through what what the hot what the big takeaways are, there is a trend to recognize. And because you are group group ambitious, you're a group focused, you're a group um, aficionados. Here's your opportunity. So there is a there is a common theme. First, a big shout out to Karen at South Lake Travel. Uh, Karen's going to be leaving the audience early because Alex, she's got her first in-person women's club meeting and it should be interesting and karen wants to pass this on now check this out a note to pass on to members i'm reading from from karen's note i've been meeting with my new independent contractor i see at a local coffee shop each meeting i make sure to look at look my best and wear my badge every time a person has come over to me i'm going to say it again every time a person has come over to me and asked about future travel moral of the story get out there wear your badge i'm assuming she's wearing their everyone's wearing their masks of course and if you don't have one get one so it's interesting you wear a badge that you say travel you're a travel expert travel advisor you're the talk of the town everyone wants a piece of you hey what's going on so I appreciate that, Karen, and best of success to you. And with that, Alex, tell us what's what's going on. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so I have to tell you, Stuart, that yeah, I mean, and and you asked about a trend, uh, and and one of the trends that we're seeing is that we're seeing um, a lot of you know first time uh, river cruisers, and 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 many of them coming from the ocean side. Uh, you know, and, and we, we say that because, you know, obviously we, we, we're, we're doing a lot of these virtual events as we had discussed uh, earlier, but, you know, I think our, our, our sales team is up to 2,000 virtual events. So, uh, you know, if, mm -hmm. if you haven't set up a virtual event with your local business development manager, please, uh, you know, reach out to us. We'll gladly do it. We'll do all the heavy lifting. All you have to do is show up, but we're getting a Alex, lot of questions. Yep, yep, yep. Alex, th these virtual events, let me make sure everyone knows this. Yep. These are you're consumer facing you're working with the travel professional and and doing a consumer facing event absolutely we're doing we're doing consumer facing events and we're also doing uh what we call ama events ask me anything events where we'll have myself or christine or gary the you know top leadership top executives of the company owners of the company uh, that will spend time with your advisors you know, so that's one series, one, uh, you know, of, of, of events. And then the other ones that we're doing, uh, we call them Return to the River. Uh, and many times we'll do uh, a virtual cruise. Uh, we'll actually bring uh, a, a, an actual cruise manager uh, from, from Europe. Uh, they'll be uh, joining us on the webinar. And we really bring, because nobody can bring the, the, the river, the experience to life like our cruise managers. And it's just a wonderful experience. We do it all, Stuart. Many, many of the advisors tell us at, at first they were hesitant to, 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 to sign up for these because they said, well, you know, I can't get, you know, 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 consumers. And we said, it doesn't matter. If you get two to 200, anywhere in between, you get one. We'll have a conversation. We want to help you. And, and we're, We'll do as many as we have to, but really, you know, help tell the story, uh, tell the story about river cruising, um, you know, how, you know, how different, how unique river cruising is. Uh, we'll set up the presentation. Uh, we'll even come up with an exclusive offer for the, uh, for the advisor, uh, because, uh, you know, again, we really want, we're generating bookings. Uh, believe it or not, out of these events, we're getting, uh, generating bookings. The business is coming in. 
obviously stronger for, for 21. Uh, and, and really that we're seeing the, the second half of 21, you know, outpacing, you know, the, the, the first half. Uh, but I have to tell you, Stuart, and I told you earlier, uh, you know, they're, 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 we're seeing some light at the end of the tunnel. June was our busiest booking month in the history of the company. Uh, measuring advanced uh, net cruise ticket sales for the following wow, year. Wow. Yep. wow. The, Hank, Hank, let's Hank, first of all, let's celebrate success because if it was your biggest booking month and all your business comes through the travel distribution system, the advisors, this is a celebration for them. Kudos and credit to them. So let's take pause and celebrate that. I'm so happy for you. Yeah. Absolutely. Number two observation is, friends, uh, uh, Alex and I talked about this right before we went live, but uh, whether or not you are comfortable doing go to webinar, go to meeting, Zoom, or whatever, because uh, some of you have been doing it, some not, the burden's off you. As Alex said, the heavy lifting means something. Why, why on earth wouldn't you do it? Because we've talked about this by partnering with uh, your 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 BDM, your support person, that that just, first of all, it removes the technical uh, burdens off of you. And number two, it also gives you integrity. Hey, look, I'm a big shot and I've got a big shot from AMA on the line here. And I'm, you know, together, we're going to bring some great information. So you're going to get more eyeballs, buy eyeballs coming to look and listen and, and love you for what you're doing. Um, Absolutely. No, number three is the booking trends. And, and Alex, I want to ask you a question on this. No surprise, 2021, but this comes up a lot. Boot campers ask this a lot. Uh, it, when is it too early or is it? I don't want to assume the answer it, it is too early. But what would you say about, you know, if we're looking at the middle of 2020, the, you know, Q3 or Q4 or beyond. Is there such thing? is booking or starting to promote too early absolutely not and especially you know especially if you're looking at you know groups uh booking a group and in our case uh you know you know we we make it so easy you know i i don't even know why we call it a group because it's really just as a, a few of you traveling together it's five cabins right. you know uh, make up a group here at ama waterways uh, and we make it so easy uh, you know, from, you know, from the group discounts, from the, you know, from the, uh, you know, of course, the, uh, you know, the, the exclusive group offers, the, 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 uh, the amenity points that we offer. But then it's also that we make it really easy, Stuart. You know, we, we assign a group coordinator from the, from the start, you know, from start to finish. You work with the same group coordinator uh, and we'll even actually create a custom flyer for you to promote your group. Uh, and right. we'll send you a PDF. We just make it really, really, really easy. And and, and don't forget, you know, with uh, groups on AMA Waterways, uh, you also get, you know, uh, you know, one tour conductor credit for every nine full paying guest. And we pay 18% commission uh, on our on our group business. So it's a, a great way to earn some some nice, you know, well deserved, you know, commission checks. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, indeed. Uh, let me read a couple of comments and questions here. And that, then I want to ask you a question that one of our members sent in. Okay. And yeah. it would be fun to hear your perspective. It keeps you on your toes, right? <laughs> Summer uh, says, does this mean you will talk to the EU, European Union, to make them open the border so we can get on our November AMA Viola cruise? So apparently her first ever river cruise is in November on AMA. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I, I have. Let me just tell you. Let me just address what you had talked about earlier, because we have actually started cruising already. So we, you know, to to, to Stuart's point earlier, we started cruising on July 5th on the Ama Christina. So again, in a, it is uh, with uh, the local German-speaking guests from Germany and the Netherlands, Austria, Switzerland. Uh, but we are we're ready to go. I mean, we have suspended through October 31st, but as soon as they, you know, we we have to also ensure that our travel restrictions are lifted in the U.S. because right now we can't travel to Europe. Uh, you know, so uh, as soon as those travel restrictions are lifted, but I think, uh, Stuart, and what I'll do, Stuart, is I'll send you an actual video that we have because in a time where you know everybody's really talking about their 
health and safety protocols and putting them in writing, uh, we're not only doing that, but we're actually bringing them to life in a very special way and perfecting them. And it's working so well. And just a couple of things that, that I'll highlight because, you know, of course, you know, everybody's doing the, the, the facial coverings. You know, we have the health questionnaire for the crew and the guests before they get on, the, the temperature checks, the sanitized luggage. But something very unique to AMA Waterways is um, through our ship design and ship building, uh, you know, we have every single stateroom, every public room, every restaurant has their own individual, you know, fan coil heating and cooling system that brings the air from the outside only once. It's never recirculated throughout uh, the ship. So it really creates a very health, uh, a very healthy and safe environment for our, our, our crew uh, and our guest. Uh, not to mention everything else that we've done uh, to the ship from adding, you know, plexiglass in the lounge. Uh, we, we're doing some different things with dining. Uh, now it's you know it's a sign you eat at the same table with the same guest. We've eliminated the buffet options for breakfast and lunch. Now it's all a la carte. We've also right. added we've we've added a room service so you can add you know have all your meals in your in your state state room if you will, wish. And another thing, Stuart, uh, if you purchase air through Ama Waterways, usually when you would fly to Europe, you would get to the to your city in Europe. Uh, and there'd be, there'd be an AMA Waterways motor coach waiting for you. Uh, and uh, and now if you buy air through AMA Waterways, uh, you know, we actually will provide a private transfer. So it's two, if wow. two of you traveling together, you get your own car. If it's four or six, you get your own vehicle. So really creating that safe environment for our, for our yeah. guests. This is, this is great news. I was unaware of the degree to which you have uh, uh, addressed the issues, addressed the concerns, and give are giving people comfort and um, thank you for sharing that because I know our, our our all the advisors are interested in hearing this. This that's that's fascinating and great. Kudos. Uh, uh, Linda has a question. Alex, are you booking the Christmas River cruises for 21 and 22? Yeah. Absolutely. Our our books are open uh, through through 22. Uh, you know, and we opened our 22 deployment much earlier, so probably six months earlier. Uh, and our 22 business is coming in coming in strong. Of course, we have even uh, for for 23 uh, some of the exotics that are open. You know, Stuart, I have to say we 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 launched or we're launching a new product next year. Uh, you know, on the Nile. Uh, you know, in uh, in Egypt, uh, on the Amadalia, and it start it's it'll start sailing in September. And I have to tell you, the product is already 70% sold out. 70% sold for uh, for next year, believe it or not. Wow. Well, uh, Karen actually asked that question. She wanted me to ask you about trends for Egypt and Africa. Very, very hot. Very hot. Our Africa product is, is always very, very hot, very popular. It's a, it's a ship. The, the Zambezi Queen only holds 28 guests. So talk about booking that in advance. I mean, it's never too early to book Africa. Book it you know, a year or two in advance. Uh, but then the the, the Amadalia in Egypt uh, will be a little larger, but only 34 staterooms, so she'll carry uh, 68 guests. You know, Stuart, you can't you can't add any new ships, you know, on the Nile, you know. But we've purchased an existing ship, we've stripped it down to the metal, to the steel, and okay. we're building it up. So she's going to be a brand new ship with all the bells and whistles you've grown to love from the chef's mm -hmm. table, the twin balcony staterooms, uh, everything in between. So we're very excited Brilliant. and it's selling very well. Yeah, that's great for consistency's sake. This is great information. And uh, I, uh, hey, everybody, I want you to know that we're very fortunate to have Alex Pinello here, who took a break from his insane Zoom schedule, go to schedule, WebEx schedule. It's been that we talked about this before. It's just it's exhausting. It's just from meeting to meeting, but it's it's what you got to do. And so we don't have him with full hour. We've got them for like 20, 25 minutes, and, and I'm really grateful. So if you have any uh, uh, departing questions for Alex, type them in now. But I, I want to get your take on this one from a, a boot camp member from Jeanette, a traveling with Jay. Here's the question. Okay. I'd like to discuss how we as travel advisors can stay abreast of the ever-changing safety protocols. I feel all over the place and often discouraged in booking anyone at this particular time. Okay. Yet, and I understand where she's coming from. Things yeah. change so frequently. She, you know, there are uh, so many 
suppliers, let alone destinations. What's your off the cuff advice? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I think it, it definitely is a very fluid situation that in, in all, all of the suppliers are, are really, I, I think the industry is working together. I mean, we, we, we're working together as one. I mean, we, we, it's important for the industry that all the brands are successful in their implementation. And, and many, even, many competitors are working together to implement some of these uh, protocols. But I think my, my recommendation is, uh, you know, in, in the case of, of, of AMA Waterways, uh, you know, we have, you know, on, on our website, all of them up to date, uh, you know, all the protocols that are, uh, you know, up to date there. Uh, we will actually, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'll send you a video because it's one thing if you, if you, if you read it or if we talk about it, but it's different if you actually see it, if you yeah. see the, the guest, because one thing we, we, we want to be very careful. It's a, it's a fine line. You know, you don't want to, you know, you don't want your guest to feel like they're in a hospital environment for seven days. So we really, what we're doing, even with the with the face coverings, you know, yeah, the, the crew is required to wear the face coverings at all times. The guests uh, wear their face coverings when they're going from their stateroom to the lounge or from the lounge to the restaurant. Once they get to the restaurant or the lounge, I mean, they can read. Right. It would be pretty difficult to eat and drink with that face covering on. Uh, but we, we, we're really, you know, again, and we, that's why we've added the, the, the dividers, the plexiglass dividers. Uh, you know, they're saying that on average, uh, the, the guests are wearing their face coverings in like 15 minutes a day. Because it's really when you just walk, the shifts are, are so small to begin with. And it's when you're walking. And another thing is we have, uh, you know, capacity limitations. So we can only cruise right now with a maximum of 100 guests. And also when we do, when we'll do our shore excursions, no more than 10 to 15 per guide. So it's going to be very small, smaller groups, uh, social distancing throughout. Uh, and it's been, knock on wood, it's been very safe. I mean, the guests have been, you know, the, the best, uh, you know, the, the, the best testimonials, uh, you know, of course, you know, come from, from, from the guest and, and the actual results. There, there's some guests that, and, and we are, we are operating a, a condensed, it's a five, there are five night itineraries that we're doing on, on, on the Rhine, but some of the guests have, have stayed on for the second cruise, have booked back to back. Some have even booked three times now because we, we are running this, you know, pretty much now through the end of the year. That's how successful it's going. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think you just, uh, just be patient with us. I mean, we're going to ensure that, you know, your safety, the safety of your guest or our mutual guest, our crew is a, a top priority, you know, for, for us, for the industry. Uh, and, and nobody, nobody is going to cut any corners whatsoever. I mean, I think if anything, if we, if we have to go to, uh, you know, 90, we're going to take it to a hundred, uh, you know, 200%. I mean, I think we really want to ensure as we're doing right now, that you know we are not cutting any corners that we're going to you know you know just take this to to to, to the next uh, you know degree if you will to right. ensure that people come back and and they have i mean positive things to say about it and like i said once you see the video uh, you'll see exactly what uh, what i'm talking about yeah. and it's just and it's just a matter of you know again the fact that another thing too Stuart, that's important these uh, these days is um, you know, because you're making these bookings for, you know, for, for 21, for 22, and some of the consumers, you know, the, because we, we hear it from our travel partners, the questions they get is, well, you know, how financially stable is that company? I mean, that's important to the consumer because you're going to, you know, so, so I think with, with, with us, I can't speak for, for others, but I'll speak for Alma Waterways. We're, we're blessed because we are, a, as you know, you, you know, our owners well, we're family owned and operated. Uh, business and, and and our owners Rudy, Christine, Gary, they've always run a very you know tight ship, very conservative business practices. Uh, and 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 we next year we'll have 25 ships. Uh, and and Stuart, we are completely debt free. We have we we all the ships are paid for, uh, which really makes for you know a much you know they like to lay their that put their their head on the pillow at night knowing that sure. they don't have those uh you know big yeah. monthly payments that have to be uh, made so it's something that's important these days so i wanted yeah. to share that with you and the, the yeah, advice and i appreciate that I'm, I'm glad you did because that's just a, a peace of mind for our advisors that they can pass on to their consumers too mm -hmm. 
yeah. uh, that's important information. Linda comments here, I've watched the videos, would feel very safe and comfortable with all the precautions Alma has taken. Um, and Trinita says, uh, oh, so final question, then then we'll let you go. I know you got to jump. Um, Trinita said, uh, uh, I, I may have missed it. She had to take a call. Good. We hope it was a sales call, Trinita. That's okay. <laughs> do what you got to do. So, um, do, so do we call our, 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 our BDM to set up these personalized Zoom meetings? Because you had talked about uh, that. Absolutely, absolutely. And if you don't know who your BDM is, send me an email. I'll put you in contact with them, alex at amawaterways.com. Or you can always email salesengagement at amawaterways.com. We'll put you in contact with them. And I promise all you have to do is show up. We'll do <laughs> heavy lifting. <laughs> Great. Hey, my friend, it is great to see you. I am so grateful that you took time out of your crazy schedule to share your expertise and insight with us. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you, everyone. And uh, look forward to seeing you on board one of our ships in the very near future. So thank you so Here. much. Have a great rest of the day. Bye, Alex. I, I want to continue on with uh, with that question, uh, Janet, that you asked, and, and I saw you typed in, thanks for addressing my concern. You're, you're very welcome. I mean, it's a great question, and, and it bears repeating. I, I guarantee you, all of you are are sort of in this, this whirlwind, truly a nonstop tornado of information, right? It's, it's, it's information overload. I O information overload. I feel your pain. I do. And you want to know how, how do you stay abreast of, of it when it's changing so frequently? And then you get that phone call from a client, an unclient. You ought to know what an unclient is by now, having spent enough time with me. If you don't know what an unclient is, go ahead and type in and I'll I'll explain. A prospect, a shopper that at any time they could ding you, call you, email you text you, say, hey, what's going on with this ship? What's going on at this destination? Um, and uh, it's overwhelming. So in addition to what Alex shared with you, and I think one of the key takeaways is that he said that they're, they're working with their competitors too. So, so I sure hope, and, and uh, let's assume, because we heard it, that the, 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 uh, the suppliers, if you will, that are in the same category, river cruises or, you know, um, the, the, the other cru major cruise lines, a tour or whatever, the hoteliers, they are collaborating and working together so they're all singing from the same hymnal. Wouldn't that be lovely? So therefore, you're, Jeanette, you're, you're not, you know, having to say, well, if you go to this hotel, they, they got this. If you go here, it's this. And of course, it's hard to do with the destinations because they're different countries. They may or may not be collaborating with the other Caribbean islands around them, for instance, because they have independent issues. But Janet, I, I want to share a couple of thoughts here. Uh, and in no particular order, you know, now is the best time then to finally niche, niche. I like saying niche better. I just like it. Because then, then you, you can be an expert on a select number of either destinations or products. I, I like to say brands versus supplier. So catch me next time. If I say supplier, say, eh, you meant brands. I want to, I want to transition to brands versus supplier. There's, there's nothing sexy about the word supplier. But brand is, and you know what I'm talking about. So... That enables you to filter, right, Jeanette, so that you and everybody else, you don't you don't have to study and follow all these other uh, brands. And, and I know what you're saying, but wait a minute, what if I do get that call from a client, an unclient, a prospect or a shopper? What, what do I do? Well, there's no better time than now to have a colleague of yours in your pocket. Oh, that's quotable. There's no better time than now to have a colleague in your pocket. Because while you may be a specialist in river cruising or Alma Waterways River Cruising, you may get a call for an all-inclusive hotel in Cancun that you're unfamiliar with because it's, it, you, you, it's not part of your inner circle of preferreds, if you will, your preferred brands, part of your niche. 
your niche, but you want to get the answer because it's your client, let's say. So that's when you say, oh, I'm going to call my respected, trusted travel advisor who's an expert, and I'm going to get that answer for you and get back to you. And, Janet, you can be that expert for your colleagues if they ask about specifically about river cruising or animal water. See what I'm saying? I think filtering will help. Number two, um, uh, if you are taking the is a bit of a risk in this but if you are publishing a blog or updates on your facebook or social marketing channels uh, or, or making little videos with updates make sure you date it so i'm just letting you know make sure you date it because i i i want you to protect yourself cya because this the information that you published yesterday could already be expired today so just a little thing. Uh, next, if you're if you're on the list to receive information from those key brands, which includes, of course, destinations, because maybe you're an, you're an Europe expert, you, you know. Uh, so I, I don't want to say that your niche is, is is specific to brands. It could be destinations, right? Uh, then uh, I'm hoping that they give it to you in bullet point fashion. Uh, and maybe you can condense it and turn it into bullet points. For me, I love bullet points, don't you? Bullet points. So if you can condense it in bullet points so you know the takeaways can easily glance at it, and when you get an update, Janet, a week later or a day later, you can you can see if any any of it's changed. So so you don't have to reread or rewrite the whole thing necessarily. Uh, it's about being a, a, as efficient as possible. Uh, and um, naturally, uh, it's it's not easy, and uh, it, it's suddenly you've been asked to be an expert on on health issues too, right? And, and you're going to be asked, well, what do you think personally? Would you go? Would you travel? W what are you going to say? Have you been asked this personally from a client, unclient, shopper perspective, uh, prospect? You know what do you say? Are you are you absolutely honest? I don't want you to lie. I don't want you to fib. I want you to be professional. There's got to be an element of honesty here. Uh, but at the end of the day, friends, uh, you 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 want to be the coach and help bring your consumer that consumer to reach their own decision. You, you really want to do your best to sort of deflect it and let them make the decision for themselves because we all have different levels of concerns, you understand, and fears and anxieties and, and protect yourself and help bring them. And, and what you can simply do, here's what you would say. You could simply say, well, that's a great question. Thank you for asking. I have a lot of my uh, clients my loyal clients ask me the same question. And here's what I consider. Here's how I make, here's how I would make these choices, these decisions, right? So make a list right now, or wherever, when we're done here, everybody, of the things that you personally and professionally, because you're an insider, would look for, would think about, would consider. It could be a list of pros and cons. And by sharing that list with your client, saying that these are the things I consider when I need to make decisions dur during these times about travel. And go ahead and fill in those blanks, Mr. and Mrs. Jones. And if you want, we could talk about it together. But I think uh, the story will unfold, will unravel when you attack it that way. Jeanette, I, I, was that helpful? I hope so. Uh, Natasha said, can you recap the number of rooms uh, on the Nile? That would be a perfect charter for a group for 2022. Alex has left the building. Well, who, who took good notes? Who has a better memory than me? Uh, the number of rooms on the Nile. Uh, I think I have a number in my head, but I want to see if somebody else answered. I don't know if his, his answer was in rooms or was in guests. So Natasha, hang on there. So Linda thinks it was 30. Why do I think it was 20? Clearly, when you go back to listen to the replay, or if you listen as a podcast, you could just sort of rewind and hear the answer. 
but it's there. It's either 20 or 30. The problem is I don't recall if it was guests or staterooms, but right on the money, Natasha. Wow. A perfect charter opportunity for 2022. I love your thinking. Uh, Trinita said, thanks. I love that. You're very, very welcome. Uh, Natasha said, uh, that was perfect. Thank you. You're very welcome. Jane Ed said, duly noted. You're very welcome. I'm glad you posted that. And now, now, okay, so here we go. I'm going to pivot now, and I want to start sharing with you uh, correspondence that I received right before showtime that I want to share with you. Just like we heard from Alex, right from the brand perspective, uh, I thought today would be a good time to share some other brand perspectives. Remember, I promised you there's going to be a nugget. There's going to be a story. There's going to be something of interest that you might be able to sink your teeth into. By the way, a shout out to Nancy at Adventure Marketplace. Remember, we talked about Nancy's victory a few weeks back, that this travel column she wrote that had been distributed in the local newspaper, that while that local paper got, uh, uh, her article was picked up because that local paper is now being distributed on a much, much larger scale. So because she believed, she kept at it. And it had no made no difference about the circulation. She did it because she believed in it. Uh, now look at the reward. She got an early and now she's got much wider distribution. And Nancy, we, we applaud that success. And um, Nancy, it just came back. She just recently flew and shared with me how, how crazy she was seeing that the flights were were pretty much sold out and uh, some people were not behaving. Others were. There you go. Uh, I have officially traveled on all four airlines. I don't want to say all four because there are more than four, but four different airlines during this pandemic. It was Southwest, Delta, American, and I just flew United round trip Denver. Uh, if anyone is interested in and uh, me sharing that just let me know i'm happy to what you do need to know is that of course the airlines in terms of capacity are following different different guidelines american and united at the times when i flew these airlines by the way because that, that changes too uh so american and united were the most recent flights it was let's just go ahead and sell it out that, that's it just deal with it uh when i flew southwest and delta earlier march and april uh, they did keep middle seat open, but I will tell you the one thing that's in common for all for airlines, and this should be no surprise, and this should really please you, is that man, these airplanes are clean. They are crystal clean, sparkly clean. It's unbelievable. It's like, why would you do this before? You know what I mean? It's just why weren't you always keeping it this clean? You know, because sometimes you get on the, you get on the aircraft, it's the middle of towards the end of the day. And man, you see everyone else's potato chip uh, 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 crumbs or the, the pretzel crumbs or the, the wrappers. And it's just terrible. All right. There you go. I've said my piece. All right. Here we go. Uh, I want to read this from uh, Sam and then, and then we're going to get to um, we're going to get to uh, the perspectives from these uh, brands. We got a lot going on, and I want to keep hearing from you. Please stay connected with me. Look at me. Look at me. Stay with me. Let's knock this back half hour out of the park. So Sam brings up a, a great question, and it's something I'm going to study because I wish I had a concrete, specific, um, qu qualitative answer for her. Check this out. Sam from Traveling Good Company Bootcamp member said. Like most, I'm inundated with webinars, so I've become very selective. But this topic, this one, sent by Classic Vacations, caught my eye. They have an upcoming webinar. It's actually September 15th, so it has it's still available for you if, 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 if you advisors wish to participate. And the name of the webinar is called The Science of Decision-Making Styles. Science of Decision-Making Styles. And she goes on to say, I'm assuming they're talking about the consumer and not me. And I believe I believe that is the case. Decision making styles of, of your other of consumer. So it will help you from a sales perspective, sales training. That's my assumption. She says, I get to know my clients decision making styles over time. But there are 
uh, telltale, but are there uh, a telltale signs or is there a science we should be aware of that clues one in as to a person's decision-making style at initial contact? I think that would be certainly hard to do these days when most contact is via internet or over a phone versus in person. What do you think? Any thoughts on that? I, I really want to dive deep in this and I'm going to check my books because I have definitely read books on, on this um, about decision making style. So it will help us as, as salespeople or advisors, whatever you want to call yourself, um, as travel encouragers to get a good read on who we're talking to about where they are in the process. And, and I am convinced beyond a shadow of a doubt that there are two kinds of cues, verbal cues and, and nonverbal cues, right? And because uh, maybe you're going to be meeting uh, virtually and not just by telephone, it's very hard, of course, to get a, 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 a nonverbal cue if, if you're just meeting on a telephone. But if you're doing it by a Zoom call, go to webinar, WebEx, whatever it is, you can see, you can see if they lean forward, if they lean back, if they go to scratch. I, I happen to be, uh, I love watching micro expressions. You, do you know what a micro expression is? A micro expression is is if if you really study uh, people and 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 their face, their facial features, their eyes, their eyebrows, their their every mannerism is a micro expression and when you get really 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 good at it you get to read if the person is uncomfortable if the person is feeling awkward if they want to say something if they're lying if they're telling the truth i'm not going to go into detail here but it just the whole subject fascinates me so yes i, I believe uh, you should, definitely should attend it heck i may sign up for it too uh but uh i i think at the end of the day i'm going to leave it here which is uh by all means, uh, you know the way people respond and talk uh, will, will give you clues where they are in the process. The biggest takeaway I want to tell you is you got to give them time to express themselves. We are a gregarious bunch, are we? We love talking. We love sharing. And during this qualifying process, they need to do most of the talking we need to do most of the listening and friends if we don't give them adequate time and if we don't sometimes leave an uncomfortable pause you know what i'm talking about we may not really hear where, where their head is at where their heart is at so you know ask short questions you know, long mile, high mileage questions, as they say. Listen to the inflections, and 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 if you can't see them, of course you have to listen really intently, and see if if they're with you or not. Are you with me or not? Are we are, are we along for the ride or not? Is this still awkward or not? Do we need to back up a little bit, and slow down, and get in the rhythm? Because these conversations need to have a rhythm to them, right? You need to have a rhythm. Uh, and the sales process is a certain rhythm. And you want to be, if you're not together on the path, uh, then you're never going to reach the finish line together. So, Sam, I, that's a great question. I want to do more research on that. And if any of you have any books or, or articles or anything to share, please do. Nancy said, uh, thanks for the nod. Looked it up. Amadalia. Here we go. Here's the answer. Here's the answer to that question. The Amadalia. 34 staterooms, 68 passengers, 62 crew. Rock and roll, Nancy. Now, the, the key question is, are, are, is the ship uh, uh, going to be, you know, are they going to sell, sell it out? Perhaps, perhaps not. Perhaps in 2021 and 2022, um, there, there's, they're not putting any restrictions on it. But thank you. So 34 staterooms on the Amadalia. Nancy, we appreciate that. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to, here we go. Uh, now, here I'm going to start to read to you letters that just came in this morning. I'm grateful, having been, you know, in, on the corporate side, working for some of these companies, working with everyone I'm going to talk about, I've worked with in some capacity. I spent 23 years working on the corporate side in our industry, working for the brands, okay, working for the consortium. So it's lovely. I'm, I'm so grateful I can send an email out to a friend, despite how busy they are, and say, Hey, what's going on? What are the trends? 
So listen carefully. I'm going to read you this one from my friend Joanne. Uh, she's a shimmelman. She's the vice president of sales and national accounts at Royal Caribbean Cruises. All right, CTC. I always like to say that that's important because I celebrate that level of certification. She is VP sales and national accounts. So I asked, so the question I asked was, what's going on out there? What are the trends? Is there anything we need to know to help us uh, build a, a bigger, better group business during these times? For the past six months, families everywhere have been in quarantine, restricted to being able to see elderly parents and grandparents, a situation that has made us all appreciative, appreciate much more than we ever have is the ability to be with our loved ones. When you couple that with the many missed vacations, family get-togethers, holidays spent alone, we are going to see a huge trend towards multi-generational family travel. I'm slowing down and putting those words in bold in italics for a good reason. She goes on to say, these groups will want to want to travel together rather than mix with others for right now. We know that with the incredible layout of our ships, seven neighborhoods, and the size of our ships, we'll be able to continue to deliver an incredible vacation experience while providing the safe space for families to do so. Did you catch that? That's the trend. That's what's happening. That's where they're anticipating, and that's from Royal Caribbean. Uh, I want to read this from Howard Tannenbaum. My friend Howard is the Senior VP of Sales, Playa Hotels and Resorts. Do you know Howard? Do you love Howard? Do you love their products, their brand? Here's what Howard says. Great to hear from you, and thanks for thinking of us. Your timing is perfect. The top selling groups right now, can you guess? Our wedding groups. He goes on to say, you can't stop the love. Now, he actually sent me a couple of documents. And if you want them, uh, just uh, I'll, I can always post them in our boot camp Facebook group. You may already have them, but if you need them, tell me. Uh, he, he gave me their latest group wedding promotion. So basically, they're being very aggressive. He said it's chock full of complimentary features and added values and special discounts for people booking now. He emphasized booking now. So, so clearly, he, he, they're seeing the trend in these wedding bookings, and they're booking them now. Probably no surprise. We also have our work and play. It's called Work and Play from Paradise Program. It's amazing. All the best, Howard. So there you go. So we, we've just, I've just revealed two trends, two nuggets. Maybe they're surprised. Maybe they're not. But for you, for you group business-focused travel advisors. This is very important to follow the trends. I'm going to read you the next one. And this is from my friend Joe Giffo. Joe is Vice President of Business Development at Nest. Nest is a network of entrepreneurs selling travel. And you may or may not know this, but back in the day, uh, I, uh, I wrote the business plan for Nest. I, I launched. Nest on behalf of uh, the American Marketing Group, and uh, it was uh, back then a consortium, a group, a marketing group, a marketing group consisting only of home-based travel professionals. Home-based, because back then, you, you you know, I don't know if any of you remember it out there, but back back in the day, you, you were afraid to raise your hand. Oh, I'm home-based because oh oh no, if you're not brick and mortar, you're not the real deal. You're make believe. And now clearly, uh, we came out then and embraced the home based travel professional. And I just did their keynote, their anniversary celebration on the, was it the Eurodam? Uh, in late summer or fall of last year. And I, that was my last cruise. No, it won't be my last cruise, but that was my most recent cruise. I was so grateful to be invited back. So here's what Joe says. So Joe's perspective as VP of Business Development is he, he talks to a, a lot of different brands. He talks to a lot of different travel advisors. I'm going to read what he says. This is what we're hearing, not so much directly from the suppliers, but from our Nest members regarding new groups for suppliers and destinations. 
Over the course of the last month or so, many of our members have been taking advantage of the FAM trips and new site inspection opportunities that the Mexican resort partners have been hosting. For example, AMR Resorts, Playa Hotels, and Charisma, to name a few. They're posting the health and safety protocols and success that these resorts are having implementing them, as well as what the airlines and airports have done. Their outstanding reporting and social media updates have resulted in several new destination wedding groups and family groups. Okay, who heard that? Did you hear what Joe just said? So we just, we heard from two brands. Now we're hearing from a, 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 a marketing group and, and they're seeing specifically that it's coming true that wedding groups and family groups are being booked. Some are even for November, December of this year. We did a virtual fam with one of our resort partners in Mexico that was also successful, that helped our Nest members promote new business. We've done three virtual fams. Um, here we go. Oh, where's that piece of paper? Over the last couple of months, if you should only see my desk. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm surprised I could find my telephone or my coffee cup. These were very impactful. We've also seen a bit of uptick on new groups for 2021 from suppliers like Carnival, Colette, and Celebrity. There is no doubt huge pent-up demand. Uh, there is huge pent-up demand. We are expecting some major new groups to start to rebook when the ships are officially back to sailing. So that, that's a takeaway, too. Groups to rebook. How many of you have groups that go annually or go semi-annually? Uh, maybe it's an organization um, and they haven't yet booked because they couldn't go in 2020. Those are key. They're waiting. They can't wait. Speaking of waiting. And, and clearly ideal to keep very, very close in touch with. And back to Janet's point that uh, yeah, you want to be an expert on the safety protocols, the very up-to-date information from those brands, too, to help them make their decision. Okay, I have one more here to read. And by the way, we have seven minutes left of this Group Sales Power Hour podcast. I hope you are enjoying it thus far and, and that, that I thought it was fun to have a surprise guest on this program. And we actually had a surprise pop-in guest on our other our, our other meeting as well, Mike Marshak. So do you know Paula Hayes? She's Vice President of Sales at Globus Family of Brands. And Paula has this to share. I'm going to read it to you. Again, she sent this letter directly to me and it arrived four minutes before I, I started and I shut everything down. So this is, this is important news. So I'm reading this for the first time. You're hearing it for the first time. Here are a few highlights for international groups. Agents that are willing to host their own groups are winning. I'm going to read that sentence again. For international groups, agents that are willing to host their own groups are winning. Clients feel more confident when they know the agent is willing and eager to travel and that they will be hosting if anything goes wrong. Is that impactful to you to hear, friends? Some of you I know understand the value and importance of going with your group of escorting. Some of you hesitate. Some of you allow the client to talk you out of it. Well, we don't need you. Well, I'm not paying for your stateroom. We're fine. And some of you realize that when you go, you know all the things that could go wrong and you're there to prevent that from going wrong because you want your clients and your group leader to have as much fun as they can. Because if they're in charge, when they're uh, with the group, uh, it's going to be very stressful. That's your job. You love stress, <laughs> don't you? So there was, a, there was a really big takeaway there. Okay, next, she makes, she makes uh, four points. One, two, three, four. Avalon River Cruising is hot, fewer people, Controlled and safe environment. 
fewer people controlled and safe environment. Never far from a medical facility, staterooms have their own ventilation system, meaning they do not recirculate air between staterooms, right? That's important. Ocean cruisers have always fueled river and with uncertainty about when the ocean will resume, many are deciding that 21, listen to this, 2021 is the year to try it. Opportunity, friends. Good stuff from Paula at uh, Globus Family of Brands. Now, at third of four points, touring is also perceived as a safe environment. She put that in quotes. Paula says, all guests must complete all health screening prior to arrival. Tour directors will do temperature checks prior to the start of the tour. All hotels, venues, restaurants are vetted by us to ensure safety protocols are in place. Tour directors handle all tickets, admissions, no standing in line. So there's a nice, there's lowering of risk, right? And an increase in value. What, what, we always talk about this, right? Your only job, your only role that you need to fulfill as a travel advisor is what? I know you could say it. You could say it, right? To reduce stress and risk, add value and convenience, and to transform the entire experience from good to great. Well, we'll this is what we're hearing that these brands are doing that you can take credit for because you're recommending, you're standing behind these brands. Uh, let's see, uh, the tour director handles that. Uh, a VIP entry ensures minimal exposure to crowds. It's like traveling in a bubble. It doesn't sound very attractive, but these days we understand what that means, right? And the final bullet point, and when I look up, when after I read this paragraph, friends, I'm going to check the boards here to see if there are any final questions, comments, topics, issues. And maybe you want to tell me a big, big subject you want to talk about next time we're together, but I'm so grateful that you stuck it out. You're with me. Class is not dismissed yet. Let me read her last bullet point. North America is hot. We just came out with a new product line, Undiscovered North America. Undiscovered North America. That's intriguing. Great new tours that include some incredible off the beaten path destinations in the U.S. and Canada. Perfect for groups that want to stay close to home. Hope this email finds you well. Hang in there. That's from my friend Paula. So there you go. I, this is great. I really thought Paula shared, shared some great, great stuff here. And so we got that. I read that. We got from Sam and Karen. Uh, we got Jeanette. Uh, we got that. We got Howard. We got Joe, Joanne. And we started off with Alex. Yay. I did it. I said, how are we going to get through all this information? I'm so excited to share with you and hear your responses. So here we go. Uh, we got two minutes left. Uh, Jeanette says, yes, this is true. I specialize in customized hosted escorted tours and travel experiences. So, so Jeanette, you go, you go, you know, right? Here, here's the thing, friends. If you have yet to host your own group, which you you need to be doing at least one a year, at least one a year. You be the group leader. You be the host. That's what I did in April 2017. Uh, uh, and Anna Christina was my wife. It was with our friends and family. It was a partial ship chart. It was amazing. We went. We had a blast. We had a great time. And so did our friends and family. We still talk about it today, as you, as you would imagine. But until you go and see how critical your presence is, you don't know. You, you won't be able to sell it or you won't be able to share the level of importance of your purpose, your purpose of being there. And remember what I taught you in boot camp, how to position yourself as uh, invaluable, uh, that, that, that you, you, must be, you must be there. When they say, when they refer to, well, how much is it going to cost? I'm not going to pay for your, I'm not going to pay for this. It's that don't worry about it. I'm going to build myself in, bake myself in. First of all, you've allowed me to negotiate for you uh, and, and given me permission to package, which means I can negotiate, get get great value, and I will build. Don't worry about paying for me. I'm built into the price package. The whole idea is you look at that number and go, wow, it's all in. And, and it's part of the deal. You get me. I'll be there. Why? Because I want you to have a blast. I want you to have a good time. I want you to connect with everybody as part of that group. Why should you take on the stresses that I'm willing to do? Because trust me, I've been there. There are so many things that can go wrong. You don't want to get me started. And I'm not telling you to shake you up and make you fearful. It's true. 
it's true. I'm there to reduce stress and risk, add value and convenience, and to transform the experience. It is time. It is time. Any final closing thoughts? Ramona said, I'm in the process of hosting a cruise with Atlas Ocean Voyages. In September 2021, I'm utilizing the group launch sequence for this trip from Athens, Greece, to Rome, Italy. More power to you, Ramona. She's using the group launch sequence, and she's doing it even though it's September 21. Rock and roll, Ramona. Would you keep us up to date, please, on your progress? Let us know how it goes. I'm so excited for you. Hey, it's time, friends. Got to go. This is the Group Sales Power Hour Podcast. I'm Stuart Cohen. Grateful for you. Stay happy. Stay healthy.